Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Phil and welcome to Grounded, the series which looks at airlines of yesteryear. This episode will take a look at the unbelievable events that happened following the collapse of Excel Airways. If you have seen the previous episodes in this series, you may recall that the origins of Excel began with Sabre Airways, formed in the mid-1990s and rebranded as Excel Airways in 2001 following a change of ownership. Excel was then rebranded again as Extra Large towards the end of 2006, becoming the UK's third largest travel company. In 2007, an ill-thought-out management buyout was completed and doomed the company, with the XL Leisure Group imploding spectacularly in September 2008. The company had many twists and turns of its own, whether it was the formation of Peach Air through a partnership with Goldcrest Aviation, a customer of the then-collapsing Ambassador Airways, or how Sabre and its then-owners Libra set up the ill-fated Helios Airways, later known as Ajet, the involvement of the Icelanders and the eventual management buyout followed, and even their own auditors resigned, the chairman had to resign due to declaring himself bankrupt and dragged down Silverjet in the process. There were twists alright, but to say what followed Excel is a twist is a massive understatement, this is more like a corkscrew. In the days before Excel ceased operations there was speculation about a possible new travel firm launching called Kiss Flights. Interestingly enough, the application for the KISS trademark was made on 11th September 2007, a year to the day before Excel's demise. It was almost unbelievable, but less than seven days after Excel's spectacular implosion, KISS flights was publicly announced. They would start flying in summer 2009 and would serve a multitude of destinations from the Greek islands, Cyprus, Egypt to Spain and the Canary Islands. They would have a fleet of new 737-800s which had conveniently become available and the press release also came out with the following chestnut. The KISS team have many years of outstanding experience in the travel industry, up to the minute market knowledge and quite simply a passion for travel. Well, they certainly got that right. KISS Flights was established by a couple of former XL managers, Michael Smith, who had moved over from Freedom Flights before Excel's collapse, and Paul Moss, who was the Freedom Flights Managing Director. KISS Flights was owned by Meridian Aviation, a company which was owned by James Wyatt, another former Excel manager, and more importantly, the brother of Phil Wyatt, the Excel chairman who cried crocodile tears on live TV just a couple of days earlier. KISS insisted that Phil Wyatt was not involved in the new company and had actually spent more time denying his involvement than they did actually advertising themselves. This wasn't helped when Wyatt was driving his car with the registration K155XLA or KISS XL Airways, which he insisted was because he loved XL. As if this story couldn't get any more twisted, Wyatt formed a new company, Black Pearl Investments, named after Johnny Depp's ship in Pirates of the Caribbean. Seriously, what is it with this guy and names? Peach Air, Exile Holdings, and now a sodding pirate ship. Anyway, the new company had an Icelandic operation too, BPI Iceland, which was backed by Haldor Sigurdsson, Exile's former finance director, and former Exile director, Magnus Stevenson. BPI acquired a 50% stake in Viking Airlines towards the end of January 2009. I'm not sure where they got the money from for that, but perhaps Wyatt took out a mortgage on his £2 million mansion, or the £875,000 home he had bought for his daughters just weeks before Excel's collapse. Viking Airlines would operate the flights on behalf of KISS, with the latter acting more as a seat broker. Viking Airlines was clearly the airline of choice for the new venture, as they did have a long-standing relationship with XL, having operated numerous aircraft for them over the years, such as the MD-83s at East Midlands and Stansted airports. Viking had only a single aircraft in September 2008, but would pick up its first 737-800 in December, and eventually grow to a fleet of nine aircraft by the time it went bust in 2010. At the same time BPI had taken its stake in Viking, Meridian had sold KISS flights for £1, yes, £1, to Flight Options, a company formed in October 1995 and initially specialised in arranging travel deals for football fans to visit overseas games before moving into the traditional package holiday market. Following the interesting sale in January, KISS would go on to have a turnover of £40 million for 2009, they also had a deal with Viking in which the airline would fund the company over the winter months. 
Things may not have been so peachy for Kiss, though, as the managing director of Co-op Travel publicly pledged never to work with Kiss. Under no circumstances will we do business with Kiss. The failure of XL will cost 60 to £80 million, pounds, and anyone contemplating doing business with Kiss can do so only for short-term benefit. There's no long-term reason because other operators and airlines will fill the gap. Co-op aside, it wasn't all doom and gloom for KISS as they did land a big contract with Global Travel Group who were a very large travel consortium in the UK. Gold Trail, not to be confused with the gold crest of Peach Air fame, was another tour operator and a big customer of Viking. They entered administration on 16th July 2010. KISS flights and flight options went pop on August 17th, leaving Viking to struggle on for a few more months before ceasing operations on the 18th of October. Viking had previously spun off a new airline, Viking Hellas, in October 2009 and would be based in Greece. Following Viking Airlines grounding, the small Athenian airline rebranded as Fly Hellas and announced it was to open two bases, one at Gatwick, one at Manchester. Notice a pattern here. Then there was Tora. They were a Swedish outfit which following Viking's demise stepped in and began operating what would have been the Viking Summer Programme for 2011, along with Fly Hellas. Tor Air was acquired by Black Pearl in early 2011, and to make it even more obvious, the UK brand Fly Tor Air was owned by James Wyatt. They didn't last long, Tor Air ceased operations on 20th December 2011, you really couldn't make this up. The final twist, and perhaps a little bit of justice, is that Phil Wyatt and Black Pearl Investments were hauled up into court in 2014 as the administrators of Gold Trail had claimed they had assisted the owner of Gold Trail in misapplying the company's money. The BPI-3 were deemed liable for £1.4 million between them. The Turkish carrier Honor Air was ordered to pay £3.6 million in compensation too. The BPI appeal was rejected by both the Court of Appeal and then the Supreme Court rejected it in December 2016. I was going to finish on that happy ending of sorts, however, as this episode went into production, the Lithuanian airline, Small Planet Airlines, filed for insolvency. They had already closed down their Polish and German operations, and their intention was to restructure over the winter and resume flying in summer 2019, however this has failed and they've closed down for good. Their chief financial officer was none other than Haldor Sigjeson, one of the BPI3. Oh well, thanks for watching.